we've got something a little bit different today. We are fishing for kokanee salmon in a creek. Kokanee salmon are landlocked sockeye salmon. So instead of living their lives in the ocean and going up a river to fish like sockeye salmon do, kokanee salmon live their lives in a lake or reservoir and then travel up a stream to spawn. And so the spawn is going on now. I have seen the salmon in the creek. They're very bright red, very easy to spot from up above. It's a little bit harder when you're at their level standing in the creek, but they are in this river system. I talked to someone who gave me some fly recommendations. Shout out to Andy for, uh, for helping me out here. He said to go with the infamous pink worm, which is kind of a San Juan worm variation. And then I tied up some variations of the infamous pink worm. Uh, mine have a kind of a red body uh, made out of yarn instead of orange dubbing. And so anyway, I'll put a picture of the fly that I'm using here. Apparently the fish aren't hungry. And so you kind of have to just annoy them into going after your fly. Uh, you have to aggravate them enough to where they lash out and try to get your fly. They're spawning, they're about to die, they're not hungry. Uh, so yeah, that's the, that's the tactic today. I know that fishing for spawning salmon like this isn't illegal everywhere. It is here, it is allowed here. Uh, no keeping uh, of the salmon you have to catch and release, which is fine, that's what I always do anyway. So anyway, let's get to fishing. Let's see if we can land a salmon or two. Do you see them right here? I mean, they are very easy to spot. There's some here, there's some down there, but I think getting them to strike is gonna be pretty darn hard. There are cutthroat in this stream, so I might catch one as, as kind of a bycatch, but my main focus here is the kokanee. I got one! I got one! That's a cutthroat! <laughs> okay! That is a nice sized cutthroat. Just a few minutes in here on the infamous pink worm variation. That is a Snake River fine spotted cutthroat trout. 13 or 14 incher. Great fish. Just not what I'm after today. Nice. Well, the fly obviously works on trout. Let's see if we can coax the salmon. I can see three or four of them right here. My strategy is to just keep hammering this spot, keep annoying these fish until they strike. I'll put a link in the description to a video of me tying this fly on the flytyingyarn.com YouTube channel. Yeah, they are super not interested in this fly, or I'm guessing much of any fly. All right, let's move on up. No luck here. Let's keep going. At least by continuing to move, we have a chance of catching some cutthroat too. I mean, do you see this here? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Salmon, all right here. I can't catch any of them. These fish have one thing on their mind, and it is not breakfast. This fly is weighted to get it down. Got a bunch of wraps of medium copper wire on it.
Got one. Oh man. Oh man. Good fish. No, get in there. No. No. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? That was a big old salmon. Oh, that was so cool. Oh man. Let's try that again. It took 10 minutes of casting to these fish here for one to get annoyed enough. I tied another one on. Ah. Oh. That was a big fish too. Big fish. Got one. Another good sized fish. Oh. Oh, big fish. Oh, yes. The fish was snagged. He didn't go after it. Wow. That is a 16 inch, let's see, eight and eight. That's a 16 inch fish. That is a kokanee salmon. <laughs> oh, yes. This looks like a female. It doesn't have the huge hooked jaw, the big old kipe. So I'm guessing this is a female salmon. Look at that. You can see some eggs right there. What a fish. All right, let's let her go. There she goes. Yes. Oh, that feels good. Let's go upstream. See if we can get another one. See if we can get another trout or two also. Ooh, got another one. Yeah. This fish, like the first one that I lost, actually took the fly. All right, very nice. Yeah, these fish feel like lead weights on the end of the line. Okay, there are a ton of fish in here, obviously, as you can see. Oh, got one. Oh, came off. Got one. Oh! Dang it. Got one. Got it. Big fish. Big male. Oh! 
Okay, where do I land this thing? Big fish. No! Oh! That is heartbreaking. Oh! Got one. Oh, he snagged. I don't want to snag the fish. This rod is bending a lot. Come on. Okay. Oh. That's another big fish, big female. It's another 16 incher. Look at that. Ooh. It's hard to fight these things. I'm happy to have the Nirvana 400 rod here. To be honest, I generally don't love this rod. I like it, but I don't love it. This is a big fish rod. It's, it's heavy, it feels heavy. I like it, but I don't love it. But for this, it's perfect. Go figure, what it was made for, it's good at. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Got one. Oh! That was a take in the mouth. That wasn't a snag. Got one. Nice little salmon, nice little kokanee. I say little, but it's still 11 or 12 inches. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me today. 
hope you enjoyed this video. I had a great time. Caught four kokanee and one cutthroat, one Snake River fine spotted cutthroat. Really enjoyed myself. It's always fun to catch a new species. Those were the first salmon I've ever caught. And so, yeah, great day, great success. I wish I could have landed those other couple that got out right as I was, as I was trying to net them. But, uh, you know, can't win them all. And I guess I gotta come back next year and get me a, a big old male with the humped back and the, the hooked jaw and all that good stuff. Gives me something to strive for next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next one.